Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module five, lesson four. And in this lesson, we are returning to two-dimensional shapes. And specifically, we're going to be playing with pattern blocks. So we're kind of leaving the world of 3D, and we're heading back to 2D. Now, parents and teachers, really, the point of this is to just let your students use these pattern blocks and play. And they're going to be building things with their pattern blocks, and we're going to like be, use multiple pattern blocks to build other shapes. That's what, it, what we mean by create composite shapes, is we're just letting our students play. And then they're gonna, we're going to give them vocabulary for the new figures that they create. So let's get started. So we've got some pattern blocks here, and, and the idea, parents and teachers, is to let your students build things. So we might take a trapezoid and a triangle, and they're going to put them together and say, hey, look at that, we made a big triangle. So we're using the proper vocabulary, trapezoid, triangle, to build a triangle. We might even say, well, let's use this rhombus. Remember, we're not going to call it a diamond. We're going to call it a rhombus. And say, well, if I take this rhombus and this rhombus, I could put them together. And then I could take a couple of triangles and put them together. One and two. And what have I created? Well, I've created a hexagon. Boom. So we can let our students build uh, use, what am I saying, use shapes to create composite shapes. In this case, we're using a variety of shapes, uh, uh, rhombuses and triangles, to make a hexagon. So uh, as your students are playing, let them use and help them use that proper vocabulary. So rather than cutting out pattern blocks, and you know, better yet, give them Give them some pattern blocks and let them play. Let them take them home. These are cheap manipulatives. Let them just take them home. They'll bring them back. I mean, heck, we, we let kids take reader books home, you know, to read at home. So let's let them take some math manipulatives home as well. And so the idea is color them to match the key. You know, hexagon is red, triangle is blue, rhombus is yellow, trapezoid is green. So that's a, a unique uh, coloring. That's not your traditional pattern blocks color code. And then let's answer the question. So use three triangles to make one trapezoid. So let your students play with their figures and uh, their shapes and build these things. And I'm, I'm going to save you the, the time of watching me try and solve these. The point is let your kids play and as they're playing encourage them to use that proper vocabulary. And I love this problem. It says, how many squares do you see in this large square? Now, the first thing I'm going to point out, it says large square right here. But then over here, it says, I can find blank squares in this rectangle. And the students might say, hey, wait a second. This is not a rectangle. It's a square. So parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity to remind them that, wait a second, a square is a very special rectangle. So we can indeed call this a rectangle. Of course, we could also call it a square. So as we're counting our squares, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, we can say, well, there's 16 squares in this rectangle, or 16 squares in this large square. But the fact that they're calling it a large square might mean we can find more than just 16 squares. For example, we can put two, uh, four squares together to make another square. So instead of having 16, we might have more than 16. So parents and teachers, let your students have fun building squares, drawing squares, counting squares. If they don't get the right, and I put that in quotes, air quotes, <laughs> the right answer, don't worry. Because really the point of this is to help them count and um, practice using their vocabulary, in this case, square. And that wraps up first grade module five, lesson four. 
we are creating composite shapes using those pattern blocks. Hey, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.